Hi there, Stan from Shop Magic here. Glad to have you with me. Today we will learn more about the ancient law of manipulating time around your WooCommerce emails. By the end of this video, you will know how to delay your WooCommerce emails, send them at specific days, or after a specific time after your customer made an order. What you're seeing right here is one of the most common applications of delaying your emails. Sending a review request with a specific time delay. Wouldn't make sense to ask for a review the same day your order was shipped, right? Okay, let's move on and see how you can do this for your own emails. If you don't want to spend a lot of time writing custom code to make it work, the first and only thing you will need is a ShopMagic plugin. But this time, we will need one of the pro paid add-ons, Delayed Actions. Even if your average order value is low, it pays for itself really quick. And if you're still not happy with it, we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. For more information about the installation process, please read the description below. Once you have ShopMagic installed and running, we can start creating your first delayed email. If you're looking for inspiration or would like to use one of the ready-to-use templates, check out the Recipes tab. There are two recipes that use the delay option. Review request and payment reminder. You can see the whole setup or start using them right away by clicking the Use Recipe tab. Here you can see how the automation is built, starting with the trigger event and moving down to delay options, recipient, subject, and email content. If you're happy with it, you can send a test email to yourself or hit publish to make it go live. But right now, we'll go back to creating your delayed email from scratch. Let's move to Shop Magic Add New. This will create your first draft of a new automated email. Let's fill in the title. This will be only visible to yourself, so no worries, your customers will never find out. and move to the event part. Here we will choose the trigger for your email. Let's start with order completed, assuming that's when we want to start our countdown. Now that we have our trigger set up, we'll add a desired action, a delayed email. Click the new action button and choose the send email action. Now click on the Enable Delay checkbox. Here we will have four options to delay our emails. The first one is a simple time delay. This will simply delay your send times by a chosen number of minutes, hours, days or weeks. The next option is Run on a fixed date. This will let you choose a specific date on which the email will be sent. The next one is Schedule with Time. This option will make your emails go out only on a chosen time of the day. And finally, Delay with Placeholder. This will delay your email for a set amount of time after the date chosen in a placeholder. In this case, we will use the Simple Delay option. Let's say that our first email will be review request. This will help you improve your store's conversion rates and get feedback about your products. For now, we'll only fill in the description and set the seven day delay. For everything else, you can use your own settings or see the whole setup in the review request recipe we looked at before. When you're done with this one, 
you can add the next email for this sequence or create a new automation. To add a second email, just click the new action button once again. This time, we will send the discount coupon to your customers to encourage repeat orders. Now we will set the delay to four weeks, since it's unlikely your customers will buy anything sooner after their initial order. Here we can also use the shop coupon placeholder. Just copy it and add it to your email. If you need some inspiration for the email content, you can always check the recipes tab once again. When both emails are ready, you can go back to the top and save your automation as draft. Now you can send the test email to yourself and see how it will appear in your customer's inbox. Once you hit publish, your emails will start joining the queue, which you can check right here in the menu.